Hello good people, Nate's here, and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the new AI Enhancer functionality that got introduced in Corona 13. The AI Enhancer is a new feature that helps improve your rendered images by adding details to the people and the vegetation that are in them. On top of that, it also AI upscales the image two times from whatever the resolution you originally rendered in. It uses artificial intelligence algorithms to get you improved results, and the way to use the thing is also very simple. So the primary use case here is to take your existing renders and improve on them by adding detail to the people and the vegetation that's in them, along with upscaling the image. Your architecture is supposed to stay the same that it was because you probably want that to be as precise as you've rendered it, and so not affected by any AI calculations. Now, as mentioned, the entire thing is quite easy to use and you don't need a powerful hardware setup because all the AI enhancements are actually done on the Chaos Cloud collaboration systems. So with all that said, how do you get the thing to work? Well, first up, you need to add a special render element or that's a multi-pass pass if you're a C4D user. And it's the one called the AI Enhancer Pass, which is located under the mask category. You just simply add it to the render element slash multipass list, and then you can go ahead with rendering out your image. Once the rendering is done, all you want to do is click the AI Enhance button inside the VFB, and that will prompt up the upload procedure. Uh, next, you'll want to select where to upload this image on Chaos Cloud Collaboration. And once you select the location for it, the image will upload. Total rocket science up to this point, right? Right. Now, once the image is uploaded, you can hit the Open in Cloud button. And then once on the cloud, you can just open the image right up. And then you can simply click Enhance and wait a minute or two for the AI algorithms to do their thing. Obviously, at this point, we are going to fast forward a bit. So you don't need to see us waiting here because trust me, we don't look that great or interesting when waiting on things. But Anyhow, once the AI enhancing is done, you'll end up with an AI enhanced two times upscaled image, which you can now, I guess, Marvel add or just send to whoever you want to send it to. Do remember, though, that this image is currently on the Chaos Cloud collaboration platform, so you can download it to store it locally if you so wish, or you can also share it with others directly on the said platform. Uh, that way you can do comments and revisions and all sorts of collaborative things, if you so want to, of course. Speaking of revisions, the original image is still available to you if you just go and select the version 1 from the drop down here, okay? Okay, so that's pretty much the whole workflow. Now, let's talk a little bit about the technical stuff. The AI Enhance button will grade out if you don't have that AI Enhancer pass slash render element active. Reason being is because this thing provides additional data to guide the AI enhancement process. Um, if you really want to be nerdy about it, in this thing, there's data such as the Z depth data, material ID data, um, instance ID data, and things like that point is you'll want this thing active if you want to do AI enhancing. Now, just as another kind reminder, I guess, part of the AI enhancement is also AI upscaling, which is done automatically. So the image on the left here is the originally rendered image and the image on the right, as you can see, has been upscaled with the help of AI. And this is done automatically and can't be disabled. Okay, so that's pretty much all that there is to the AI Enhancer. Uh, we would strongly recommend having a look at our documentation pages um, in case you want uh, even more info about this thing. Uh, but for us here, this tutorial is a wrap. Uh, we hope you'll enjoy using this new functionality. And as always, thank you for tuning in, and we will see you in the next one.